Hey Libra, welcome to my channel. My name is Sally and this is going to be your love reading for the month of October. This is a general reading. It may not resonate with you. Um, before we begin um, your reading, I want to thank those that subscribe to my channel. I want to thank those that liked my video. I want to thank those that um, left a comment in the comment section. I want to thank those that also booked um, a personal reading with me. Um, I'm really grateful. Thank you very much. So, um, Libra, this is a general reading. This is a collective reading for all those born under the zodiac sign um, of Libra. So, it may not resonate with you. Not everything I say here may apply to your situation. Um, only take what does and leave the rest for others. So, Libra, let's begin with your reading as I've already shuffled your cards. So, at the bottom of your card here, we have the Three of Swords. So, some of you could be dealing with an air sign like yourself, um, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But I see some kind of pain that is going on here in the month of October. Or moving into the month of October, I see um some kind of pain here. Let's see the rest of the cards. Let's see the rest of the cards. We have the nine of pentacles. Okay, some of you, Libra, some of you could be single as it stands now. You could be dealing with um an earth sign, a water sign. I feel like some of you are single right now. Yeah, I feel like there. There's one here you walked away from. There is an ending here between you and someone here. There is obviously an ending here between um you and someone. This person could be an Aquarius, like I said, it could be an air sign like yourself. Um, they could be um a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. We have the Ten of Sword. We have the Chariot, and um, we have the Lovers. So on uh, Libra. So going into your reading, I feel like there is some kind of heartbreak here. If this hasn't happened yet, if this is not a past energy for you, then I feel like this is something you should be expecting in the month of October. So I see that there was some kind of pains in this situation. I feel that for majority of you right now, you're single, you walked away from someone due to a lot of disappointment that's happened in this situation. I see that you were stuck on this person for a very long time. You really thought about this situation before making your decision about letting this person go. You made your decision about ending the situation. I have a sense that this person, whoever this person, this person could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, a Pisces. I feel like this person was um, sort of manipulative. They were um, doing things to control you, to control your feelings, to control... Um, how you feel and I feel like you really um, thought about the situation before you finally put an end to the situation yeah I see that you walked away from the situation um, and I feel like as of now you are single but I see that with the uh, star card here uh, the star card is the number um, 17 card 17 is reduced to um, number 8 I see that someone could be coming back to see you. I see someone traveling to come and see you. I feel like there's going to be, there's going to be decision that you are going to be making in the month of October regarding this person. With a lover's card here, I see that um, you are going to be um, thinking of making a decision regarding this person in the month of October. This person that is traveling to come see you. Hmm, yeah. The star, someone is coming back. You're going to be making a decision about this person. You could be hearing from this person. This person could be communicating you. They could be uh, reaching out to you or they could be traveling towards your direction. But I feel like there's geographical distance between you and this person. I feel like for some of you, this could be a third party situation with the three of sword here. Maybe this person, they left um, with someone else and this caused you a lot of pain and you decide to put this situation to rest. I see that this person is coming back. This person, they are returning back into your life with a star card here. They will want to make peace with you in the month of October. This person, whoever this person is, they will want to make peace with you. So let's clarify to get more insight. Holy Spirit, why is the Nine of Pentacles here for Libra? They are love reading in the month of October. Spirit of Truth. We have the Emperor. So I feel like this could be someone you had children with. You could have children with this person. Um, I feel like um, right now, let me see. Yeah, this person is still holding on to you, the Four of Pentacles. They are still holding on to you. This person could be an Aries. That's the, I feel like for someone that kept their option open um, for a very long time, they kept their option, option open. And they made decisions. Or that they, they decide to follow another path. They decide to choose another dis, uh, direction. Hmm. But I feel like this person, they are thinking of coming back or they will be reaching out to you in the month of October. Why is the hangman here for Libra, Holy Spirit? Why is the hangman here for Libra? 
Your love life and the month of October. Holy Spirit, clear and accurate message for Libra. Okay. We have the two of one. So this person could be a fire sign. This person, I feel like their intuition is guiding them towards um your direction. But this person is having anxiety. They're having anxiety over the whole situation because they feel like they can't have this happiness with you or they feel like they can make you happy. I feel like this person had, has did a lot. This person really did a lot. They said a lot. They said a lot of hurtful things. They did a lot of hurtful things. And I feel like that is making this person anxious about coming back towards your direction. Yeah, this person got, um, some of you, this person got to involve in a third party situation. So, Holy Spirit, why is the star here? Why is the star card here? Libra love reading, October 2020. Why is the star card here? Clear and accurate message for Libra. Okay. We have the five of sword. We have the three of cups. And we have the six of pentacles. So, Libra, I feel like, um, this person, they are realizing that they have been given to the wrong situation. This person is realizing that they are, or they have been given to the wrong people, to the wrong situation. I feel like, um, hmm. this person, the message I'm getting, this person, um, uh, they could be taking care of someone else's child. Yes, they could be, they, they could be taking care of someone else's child. This person, your person could be taking care of someone else's child. But I feel like the, the, the situation is no wrong, whatever situation your person is, is no longer favorable to them like they are no longer happy in that situation because they are seeing that they, they are having to give and give and give and they are getting nothing in return so that is making the old person to think about coming back towards your direction i feel like th this is a strong um third party situation your person is involved with someone else and i feel like whenever a person involved they have um is involved with they have a child for someone else and your person is having to take care of whoever they are with and the child and they are no longer happy in this situation this this is making them angry it's making them really angry at this point that they have to do that to themselves and it's making them to think uh it's making your person think about coming back towards your direction Let's see, why is the Eight of Cups here for Libra? Libra Love Reading, October 2020. We have the Empress. Yeah, you have a chat. This could be someone you're married to. You could be married to this person. You could be married to this person, yeah. You could, you, yeah, you are, some of you are definitely married to this person. You're definitely married. I feel like Libra, most, some of you, you did a lot to put this relationship together. You really do fought hard to put this relationship together, to have a new beginning with this person. But I feel like things were out of your control and you had to call this person out. You have to let them go. But I feel like right now there is no communication between you and this person. I feel like you once had a happy home with this person. You once um, had happy memories with this person. You once had um, good memories with this person. There was this um, love, this deep love that was between you and this person. I feel like in the past they were deep, there was deep love here. You you had a happy home with this person. You had a, a children. You were fulfilled with this person. But along the line, things started going wrong and um, you had no choice. You fought really hard to hold this together, but you had no choice than to let this go. I see that this person is still holding on to those happy memories. They are still holding on to those happy times that you both shared. Hmm. This person, I feel like they are realizing their mistakes. Why is the dead card here for Libra? Why is the dead card here for Libra? Holy Spirit. Why is the dead card here for Libra? We have a ten of pentacles. This person, they want a new beginning with you. They want to change things. Oh, the ace of cups. We have the sun. This person, they want a new beginning with you. They do. This person, they, they dream about you a lot. They do miss you. They, they dream about you. They, they dream about the situation. They are thinking of sending you a message, but they are very confused at this time. Yeah, they are not sure if you are going to um, reciprocate um, whatever it is that um, they have to offer. They feel like you have moved on. They feel like you have moved on. That is how this person is feeling. But in the month of October, they are strongly thinking of reaching out to you. This person could be a fire sign. They could be a water sign. They could be an earth sign. I'm seeing all signs here. They do. They want a new beginning with you. They do. They want a new beginning with you. Why is the eight of wands here for Libra or the spirit? Yeah, this person, they are planning their return. They are planning, they are planning their return. They are planning on coming back into your life. They are planning on coming back into your life. Hmm. Let's see. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Libras? 
Why is the Ten of Swords here for Libra? Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, Spirit of Light, Spirit of Wisdom, Spirit of Light, Spirit of Wisdom. Libra, I feel like um, you still think about this person, Libra. You still think about them, and you're still waiting for them to return. You're still waiting for them to return. For some of you, you still think about them. You're still waiting for a new beginning from this person because you still love them. Obviously, here. You still love them. I feel like some of you Libras, you're keeping an eye on this person. You, you still have a lot of passion. Um, you still have a lot of passion for this person. You're still keeping an eye on this person. I feel like you still want this person back, but at the same time, you're not sure if you want to have anything stable to do with this person. Hmm. Libra. Why is the chariot here for Libra, Holy Spirit? I love reading for the month of October. Why is the chariot here for Libra? Libra love reading October 2020. Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here? We have um the hermit and the four of wands. This person, we are looking for a way to make it up to you. We are thinking, we are planning of ways to make it up to you because they want to have um this stability with you. Hmm. There is something about a cat here in this reading. So I feel like some of you should check out the spiritual meaning of cats. Because I'm seeing cats everywhere. So check out the spiritual meaning of cats. So I feel like it's going to give you insight um, on your love life. Yeah, check it out. What does cats mean? What, what, what's the spiritual meaning of cats? I feel like, to me, I feel this intuition, but I'm not sure. I feel like it's something that... You know how they say that cat has uh, nine lives? So I feel like this relationship... What I'm getting when I said cat, I feel like this relationship... Um, it's not yet over. It's not yet over between you and this person, Libra. That's what I'm getting. It's not yet over. I feel like there's going to be a comeback on this situation. Yeah. That's the message I got immediately. I said cut. So maybe you should um, check it out on Google yourself. It's, it will give you insight. So I said number one, it could mean um, intuition, um, spiritual guidance. And number two, it could mean um, continuity of something, something that, um, that have to happen over and over again. Something like that. But... I got that from the message of um um I just heard cat um the nine lives of a cat so I feel like this is something that is going to reoccur this cycle this is going to this cycle between you and this person is is going to reoccur it's not yet over between you and this person if you thought it was over then I'm sorry to let you know it's not yet over because um this person is still going to come back and I feel like there is going to be an opportunity to build this relationship again. I see why is the lovers here, Holy Spirit? We have the three of pentacles. So I was saying I was talking about building something, working on something. So yeah, you and this person are going to work on this situation. So it's not yet over. But I feel like the decision is going to be left um to you. If you still want to build this situation with this person, if you still want to work on the situation with this person, so it's left for you. It's left for you to decide that. Um, so let me see why the Three of Swords is here. Holy Spirit, why is the Three of Swords here for Libras? Why is the Three of Swords here for Libras? Why is the Three of Swords here for Libras? Holy Spirit. Okay, we have the Six of... Um, we have the Six of um, Wands. We have the Tower and the Queen of Cups clarifying the Three of Swords. So this is saying to me that... Um, if th this situation, like I said before, it's it's not yet over between you and this person. You guys are going to have um, another opportunity um, to work on this situation, and I feel like I feel like this time it's going to be successful. That is what I'm getting. This time it's going to be successful. I feel like this. Um, you guys are going to find that courage. Um, within you to put whatever happened behind. Um and agree to work on this relationship with this person but then it's left for you if you still want to work on it with this person um i feel like you should follow your intuition when it comes to um relationship uh when it comes to your love life you need to follow your intuition so we are just here to guide you on your journey so your intuition um is the most important to when this is the most important to you need when it comes to things like this. So what is your heart saying? So Libras, uh, let me not go further than this. If you want more guidance on the situation, if you want clarity on your own personal situation, you need guidance on your own personal situation. As this is a general reading, 
so you could go to my description box information um to book personal reading is there but i see that when it comes to you and your person there is still love here so this situation between you and your person is not over so i don't know if you're ready to give this person this a second chance or not it's left for you if you would do that so libra um i'll see you in my next video and take care bye